One of the things Ben Hogan was famous for in his book, Five Lessons, was putting a golf club up against the side of his hip because he didn't want his weight to shift away from the target during the backswing. We want to rotate into this leg like it's a post. This golf club keeps me from allowing my hips to move away from the target. We want to coil into our rear leg and not let our center of gravity move away from the target. From here, we can begin to let the lower body work out from underneath us towards the target while maintaining our hip depth so that we can clear and get through the golf ball with the most efficiency. Now the important thing that I keep in mind about my weight shift is it's going to happen in a figure eight. Yes, a figure eight, just like the number. That coil puts our weight into this heel. So essentially, we're pressuring into this heel and then our weight is gonna move from our heel to the ball of our lead foot. And as we stand up, the weight will move into our front heel. This is one part of the eight, and then it's going to cross from my heel into the ball of my left foot, and then around the heel of my lead foot. So it basically works like a little figure eight. I used to be a golfer that hit a ton of pushes and a ton of slices. And I finally realized it was because of my weight shift. I never got my weight deep enough into my rear heel on my backswing. We want to have a feeling that we're hitting the ball from the inside out, not a chop swing like we're coming over the top. A lot of people don't realize your weight shift has a lot to do with whether you're slicing the ball or drawing it. When I used to have a lot of trouble slicing the golf ball, I never got my weight fully into my rear heel. I was moving my weight into the ball of my rear foot. And that's a big problem because then my weight shift is going diagonally in the wrong direction. We want that club to be coming from the inside out to meet the ball. So if you can get your weight deep into your heel, that is going to help you fix your slice. One of the ways I get into the figure eight weight shift is just to do a forward press where I feel my center of gravity move towards where it's going to be at impact. And then I just pull my weight back towards this heel. You'll see guys like Gary Player and Lee Trevino, they used to kick this knee in and then rock into this heel. So our weight doesn't go this way, our weight circles deep because we want to have our hips as deep as possible as we come back into the ball. Now guys, if you like these videos, please click subscribe, hit a like, leave a comment. That stuff helps us out a lot. And if you want to learn more about my swing evolution, you can go to myswingevolution.com where I've got my top five swing secrets video available for free. And I've got full length instructional videos that tell you how I rebuilt my swing. Guys, golf shouldn't have to be so hard. The problem is information overload. There's so much info out there. It's like trying to build a race car by going to a junkyard and grabbing spare parts off of every old clunker. It's just not going to work. I wanted to have a great golf swing, so I narrowed my focus and just studied the swing of Ben Hogan. And guess what? It worked. Today, I'm one of the best golfers at my club. My swing evolution has over 20 million views, and I even got to play Ben Hogan on the Golf Channel. So if you want to become a great ball striker, go to myswingevolution.com, pick up the MSC Golf System, and start your swing evolution today. Hit them long and hit them straight.